Hey there everyone. Welcome to Blades and More for my review of this Civivi Altus folding pocket knife. Civivi is a sub brand of Wii knives and they make uh, more moderately uh, priced ranged um, models that uh, come in with a lot of nice uh, features and quality. Um, this Altus comes in at around the $75 price range, so it's just maybe a little above the budget price range, but medium type price range for folding pocket knives, knives and it has a lot of nice features. The uh, blade material is what Civivi calls a, a Nitro V and uh, comes with G10 handle scales and a button lock with ceramic ball bearing pivot a great little piece the overall length of the knife is 7.12 inches and uh, the blade length is 2.97 inches so that would make it a legal concealed carry in my state of Michigan here, which has a three inch concealed carry law limit. The uh, handle length on this Altus is 4.15 inches. The blade thickness is 0.12 inches and the handle thickness is 0.51 inches so a little over half an inch comes in at a light weight of 3.11 ounces and uh, has a flat grind on the blade with a plain edge and a nice silver bead blast finish there's no uh, markings or writing on the blade has a dual ambidextrous thumb stud opening with heavy jimping on the thumb ramp of the blade. It, uh, the blade is connected to a uh, black anodized stainless steel liner and G10 handle scales that are lightly textured. The uh, stainless steel liner has been skeletonized on both sides. It's an open back handle design, has two pillars in the rear of the uh, handle, plus an, another, oh, it's kind of like a lanyard pillar there that you could um, thread a paracord through there if you wanted to have a lanyard uh, cord in there. It has a tip up carry design and the uh, deep carry stainless steel pocket clip comes on the right hand side but you can place it on the left hand side so with the dual ambidextrous thumb stud opening and the ability to change the uh, the carry clip from right hand to left hand side it would almost be full ambidextrous except for the button on the button lock but if you were a lefty you might be able to uh, be able to figure that out somehow with your index finger, I'm not sure. The uh, uh, ceramic ball bearings make for very nice opening and closing. Just pow, drop shuts very nicely. Has a decent detent on the knife. Just about right. I brought in a few of my other Civivi models. As a comparison, here's the Civivi McKenna. It's a front flipper model. Then I have my Civivi Aquila. It's larger. Um, flipper tab opening. And my Civivi Corsair. And my Civivi McKenna.
These uh, other four models are all liner locks. And the uh, McKenna that's about the same size is a front flipper. And the uh, Altus is the button lock. The uh, Altus has a nice finger choil in the handle that uh, lets me insert my index finger in there and clinch up fairly nice on the uh, 4.15 inch handle. With my large to extra large hand, I can get my little finger around the butt of the handle nicely. Works nicely. The, uh, this piece has a lot of nice qualities, and I would certainly recommend it. Give you a little closer look of the show side of the piece here. And let me flip it over, give you a look at the uh, back side. So there we go, everybody. This is the Civivi Altus folding pocket knife. I think it would make a perfect gentleman's carry, smaller, fit away, hide away into your pocket. Um, even though it still is large enough to do a variety of other duties, fishing, hunting, camping, um, utility. So there we go. If you have any questions or comments, I would appreciate it if you'd leave it in the comment section and I'll get back with you as soon as I can. And if you like the video, to hit the like button and to subscribe to the channel. All right, thanks a lot for watching. I hope to see you back again soon. Okay, bye now.